Now, at the beginning of the coaching session, one of the main questions I ask is, have you any previous or current injuries? And sometimes the response I get is, uh, yeah, I've got a few niggles, but they don't affect my golf swing. But you've got to look at it that everything counts. So every previous injury or current injury will affect that golf swing. The, the brain is, is intelligent enough that it will adapt the swing so then it doesn't uh, cause, cause further injury to yourself. So then the swing will adapt, which then can cause some major issues in trying to get that consistency but also you need to be aware that if you're, if you're restricted in any way, you need to try and adapt to that particular restriction so you change the swing rather than getting frustrated and banging your head against, against a brick wall and being very frustrated. So welcome to Mark Henry Golf. So today we are covering the wrist in flexion and extension. If you're limited in any way with your wrist movement of how that will affect the golf swing, how to test it to see if you are limited, it, limited in that movement and how to get around it. So the first thing we need to do is our test on our flexion and extension of our wrist. So you just need a six iron, get your arm, forearm so it's parallel to the ground and make sure the elbow is tucked into the body. We don't want the forearm helping out in any way. So you're trying to keep that parallel to the ground. Put your six iron along the forearm so it's in sync with that do your flexion so you're trying to get the same angle as your six iron without any pain and then vice versa so the upward move movement so the extension so you're trying to get that in sync with that without any movement or any help from the forearm so do both sides see how you get on with that first so that's your first checkpoint that's your test to see if there is any restriction in any way if there's any pain it's not a matter of thing you're not trying to power through to the angle of that six iron so just nice and relaxed you shouldn't feel any discomfort in the movement it should be nice and free movement so first of all take that test and see how you get on right if you struggle on that let me show you the corrections that you can do to help improve the shot with that restriction so if we have a restriction in the movement with our wrist, that can have a massive effect on the swing path and the club face. So the main thing I feel it affects, which I've had quite recently, is that it tends to open up the club face on that back swing. So as you swing back, where the wrist is struggling to achieve that move, it tends to then stay quite straight which in turn, in that motion, would then tend to open the club face or suddenly you would be across the line slightly at the top, which then leads to a reroute of the club. So you're either going to come over the top or you have to then early extend to get through that shot. So there's two big things that that can cause. So the opening of the face and then the path being offline in the club crossing over at the top which is then very difficult to get back to the ball. So with regards to the opening of that club face which will cause a potential shot over to the right or you're then going to overcompensate and then pull it left just depending on what club you're hitting. So the main bit to try and help with that, to help that position is to make sure you strengthen that grip. So when you make the grip stronger that will encourage to close the club face it will put the wrist in a slightly better more potentially more comfortable position to control that club face and if you add in a slight rotation as you go up that will then help you with that swing path rather than that crossed over line so the strength of the grip is basically with the top hand you're going further over the top of that club of the grip so you're showing more knuckles on display so at the moment if you've got say one and a half to two knuckles we just need to add a knuckle so it's just slightly further over so more on top of the club and then put that right hand in sync with it so then you're making the club feel a little bit more close a lot stronger with that grip so when you swing up it will be more comfortable on the wrist to achieve a much more square closed club face at 
impact because you're pretty much when you're restricted in that movement of the flexion and extension you're pretty much guaranteed to open the club face up on the way through and find it very difficult to shut it as you come back down in that swing the wrists won't feel comfortable to achieve that so we have to close that club face up with the grip at the beginning and that will make a massive difference to your shot if you're someone that tends to cross it over at the top and just experiment with how far you can swing before the club tends to cross over so you can do quite a simple one where you shorten the length of the swing or you feel there's a more rotational move as you go up so you're rotating the club as it goes up to try and keep it more laid off so it doesn't spring across which then like I said leads to either over the top or an early extension. Now the wrist is a very tricky one I've had various different restrictions on it, that like mobile accent where it's totally pinned, but please give yourself a little bit of a break, test the wrist to make sure that you have got that a movement, because then you have got a good way of attacking it and realising why you're frustrated with what shot you're hitting down there. So any questions or comments, please send them through, give us a good thumbs up, Test those wrists, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.